Folks, we got us a swarm of honeybees here. Looks like they're gathering right here on this limb. Hey folks, welcome to the Jerome Bee Farm and Homestead. This is the first day I wore my 628 dirt rooster hat. Look what happened. <laughs> Must be a good luck term. Got a big old huge swarm right here. So that's so big I'm going to put them in two deeps. So I got all my stuff set up. I've got a trailer over here I'm going to set the hive in. I got my truck backed up here. So I don't know if I'm going to do this from the back of the truck or uh, off of uh, my ladder but either way I want to attempt to cut that limb off and set it on top of a brood box and I got uh, three or four drawn out frames in there and going to get them to just walk down in it from the top down so uh, let's get started and see if we can get these bees put away Okay, at first glance, uh, I could reach it from my step ladder, but I'd have to climb like way up on the next to the top step, and I want to be nice and stable when I do that. So I don't want to shake that limb and drop them, because then they'll be everywhere again. So uh, I'm going to back my truck up underneath there and set the ladder up in the back of it, and then I'll just walk my way down, and I'm going to have the high body right here on this trailer. I underestimated the weight of that limb.
That was very heavy. Okay. Hopefully we got them on the march in there. Yeah. They're marching in there. I knew that was going to be heavy, and uh, I was braced for it, but man, I had no idea how heavy that was going to be. This lighting is not good. this for a while. There's still a bunch on this limb. That is a massive amount of bees. Now the question is which hive did they come from? As long as they continue to march in there, that'll be a good deal. I could stand there, watch for that queen is what I should be doing. Got a few bees in the air. As long as they keep that march going, we'll be good. Put this limb up top of the box. Okay, looks like they're uh, congregating down in there pretty good. Back here on this side, you can see the bed's almost uh, empty now. They're all over here by the entrance. Uh, slowly marching their way in. So probably what I need to do is, here in a minute, get that uh, other deep on here. It may be too full for him to go in there. So I'm gonna try and smoke these down in there so I can get this other deep on here without smashing very many of them. Yeah, 
get this line back up there. I'm going to give them just a little bit of smoke out here to kind of encourage them in. I'm not going to give them very much. Just to head them that direction. Okay, we still got a few hanging out here on the side. There's a few bees hanging out in the air. And there's a few down here. Okay, I think we're going to go to a plan B. I walk down by the hive stands and there's water standing. so. If I got my tractor down there, if it don't get stuck, it'll leave deep ruts. So I don't want to do that. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is put the straps on it and try and muscle this into this little uh, red lawnmower trailer. And the lawnmower, if it gets stuck, I don't care. <laughs> but uh, it should leave big ruts and I think it'll pull right there in front, no problem. Uh, so the question is, can I get that by myself into this little trailer? I think I can. Uh, I'll just get it strapped down real good and uh, get it in there. So let's try that. Okay, that wasn't too bad lowering it down and the uh, hive stand is even lower yet so I think I'll be able to lower it down on there by myself so it wasn't too bad 
Uh, so it's probably another 30 minutes to sunset. So I'm going to uh, let this thing rest a while and walk away from it and let them settle down a little more. There's probably a hundred bees or so flying around. Let them uh, land and get get inside and uh, I'll get it moved down there. And I've got a, uh, a queen excluder I've cut for the entrance. I'm gonna put over the entrance uh, so this queen can't leave. I'm gonna lock them down for a couple days, 48 hours. And uh, in case she's a vir there's virgin queen in there and it she needs to go mate, uh, I don't wanna lock her in if that's the case. So uh, I may do an inspection before that and see if I find a marked queen or, or what's going on. But uh, that's the plan. Half an hour, move it down there. Well, we got it. So it's a little touch and go there for a minute. That limb was really heavy. Uh, I knew it would be, and I thought I could hold it, but it just, it jolted them too much, and there were too many bees on there. A lot of you expert swarm catchers probably saw that coming. Uh, I've only caught five or six swarms, so that's the biggest one I've ever caught. Uh, anyway, Give me a thumbs up if you would, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care.